Hi everyone! So today we are doing language variations between Hungarian and Malay on insects, arachnids, worms, and the swords that are disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> So let's start with um, spiders. I mean, they're they're good insects. Uh, no, arachnids. <laughs> <laughs> we are clearly very knowledgeable on all topics related to biology, <laughs> but <laughs> I do know how to say spider in Hungarian. So okay. we say pork. Pork, like pork. <laughs> like, like if pork. you poke, poke. No, if you poke someone, it's the same pork. sound. Pork. That's such a cute word for. <laughs> Yeah. An eight legged yeah, creature. And I mean, like, kids also say pokica, which is like a sort of nickname y thing, like okay. for a little spider. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> In Malay, okay. so we say lava lava. Lava lava. Correct. So <laughs> lava lava. I, I don't think we can actually use lava alone. Itself okay. does not have any meaning. If you Google or try to dictionary search lava, it will always come up. Like together. So if you know what lava in one word means, comment down below. <laughs> but otherwise, for spider is lava lava. Lava lava. Nice. <laughs> okay. The second one is uh, this is the disgusting one. It's a cockroach. Yeah, those are gross. In Hungarian, I guess it's sort of similar. It's chotain. <laughs> similar. I mean the O Such and the A. <laughs> O and the A and the C, that, that's close enough for us, I think. Chota, it also sounds really nice. Yeah, it, it sounds nice, but it's definitely something that can be used as an insult. Oh! Yeah. Okay. Kokorei chotai, which means like, oh, you're such a cockroach, or I don't know. Like, you can definitely use this as an insult if you don't want to swear. <laughs> oh, I like, I like this word, chota. I'm chota. gonna learn that. <laughs> And uh, in Malay, we say lipas. 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 That sounds very Spanish. Or like <laughs> Latin. That's true, but no, I think it should be very far away from Latin. It should be, yeah, yeah. but I think the AS and the N is true. throwing me off. <laughs> <laughs> okay, next one's another good insect. It is the bee. Yeah, good insects and bad insects in this video. <laughs> Let's learn about what's good and what's bad inside. Completely objectively. <laughs> <laughs> so, a bee in Hungarian is a me. Or mihecke, as oh. children say. But what's interesting, me is um, like it's a homonym, so it can be used for the bee or part of the reproductive, a female reproductive system. So, really? Yeah. <laughs> I have no idea how they are connected. I didn't look it up for, for this video. I guess I should have done my research, but please let us know without being gross in the comments. Why? <laughs> but that kind of makes sense because in English, sometimes some animals are also used yeah. to, you know. Yeah. Interesting. So in Malay, B is leba. 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 So it sounds kind of like spider. Spider is lava, lava. Oh. So it's with an A, oh. but B is with an E, leba. Okay, next we have its counterpart, the bad version of this bad bees. stinging creature, um, wasp. That is, in Hungarian, doraj. 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 Sounds like the explorer. <laughs> Dora, the explorer. Oh. <laughs> doraj. Doraj, with an A. Do doraj. Doraj. That sounds so... I don't know, I just find the Hungarian words for insects are so nice. Because <laughs> in Malay, it is the one. <laughs> but it's very different. It's very different. The one. So, the one could... I, it, in my memory, could also mean hornet. So we don't really have a okay. word to differentiate between the two. Okay, next we have the fly. In Hungarian, we say lid. Which is also a homonym, but this time no reproductive part. It, it's the 
subjunctive form of the verb to be. To be? To be. It's like, you be. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, you know, when you say, be good. Okay. Lead you. So like, be good, in the subjunctive form, it's like, lead. <laughs> how would, how lead would, you. <laughs> how would it sound like if you say, you be the fly? Like, that you. lead your lead. <laughs> In Malay, it is, I think, a disgusting word. Even when I want to, you know, like say it, it's lalat. 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 With a T. And uh, lalat. yeah, it, it is something that we all hate. <laughs> lalat. Okay. Because there's so many also because of humidity and because of the food. So oh, we don't have winter. Massive, right? Yes, right? exactly. And we don't have winter, so there's like fly all year long. And we just. Okay, next we have uh, the mosquito. In Hungarian, it's sunyog, and it's a disgusting one. I mean, you know, it's, it sounds innocent, I guess, if you don't know the meaning. Sunyog. Sunyog, but it's, it has this like, ooh, sound in it that <laughs> makes it sound disgusting. <laughs> like a like, sound discrimination. It suggests, it suggests that it's about <laughs> something gross. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I think the Malay has a very cute word for mosquito. We say niamuk. Niamuk. So it it's starts like with niam. <laughs> yes. It starts with an N Y A. So okay. niamuk. Niam. <laughs> but of course, mosquitoes in Malaysia are deadly because yeah, they have, yeah, we have the dengue, uh, right. 80s mosquito that transmits dengue. So, next on the list, we have the fruit flies. Okay, so in Hungarian, it's a debate. Okay, it's, a, it's the same word, but you can spell it two different ways. So it's muslinca or muslica. And yes, both of those are dictionary wise correct. I have looked it up. So um, I come down on the, the camp that puts that additional N in the middle, so muslinca. But it's, I mean, personal favorites, I guess. Interesting, that can be a word that has two schools of thought. I think it's just um, the different dialects ah, drop okay. the N and it's uh -huh. been around for so long that it made it into the dictionary too. I'm, I'm, I'm not sure, but that, makes that sense. is my guess. That makes sense. Yeah. So, fruit flies is not a, a really interesting word in Malay because we just, it's kind of like the English word. So, okay. fly is lalat, lalat yeah. and fruit is bua. So wow. it is lalat bois. Oh, but not the other way around. Correct, like because nice fruit. Yes, exactly. Because okay. the adjectives always come after the, uh, word, okay. the noun. Right. Next, we have the dragonfly. Oh, I love this word in Hungarian. We say sitakatu, which means it's it's a beautiful word, and uh, it means like sita is a sieve, and kutu means somebody who knits. So it's a sieve knitter. <laughs> but why? I looked this up <laughs> because I don't know why either. But I couldn't find any commenting information online about this. Okay. So etymologists go nuts and tell us in the comments. Because if you tell me a sieve knitter, I would think of a spider first, you know what I mean? Oh, actually, that would make a lot of yeah. sense. <laughs> yes. But no, it's a dragonfly. <laughs> Kitita. Kita? Sita. Sita Kutu. Oh, that sounds so cultural. Yeah, Sita Kutu. So, we had the word dragonfly before one of our older words from Malay, uh, videos from Malay. It is okay. patong, which is. Um, patong means doll. And when you try to like, double it up, patong patong, we put it together and say patong. It's a type of like merging words. Okay. Uh, and that's dragonfly. I think this is because of how I remember someone put in our comments for that video that says maybe it's called Papatong because of how it kind of just when it stops it's kind of like a doll and just does not move when it oh. yeah when it just hangs on a piece of like leaf or something like that okay yeah so can be could be etymologists <laughs> <laughs> okay next we have the ladybug so this is another word I love in Hungarian. It's kotica <laughs> That's such a difficult word. Kotica boge. Kotica boge. But we say like kotica, so kotica. we can drop bogar, which means uh, a bug. Uh, oh, oh, okay. 
So we just say Katica. And Katica means? Katica is a, a nicknamey version of Catherine. Like Katarin. <laughs> so it's the bug of Catherine? I guess. <laughs> But it just sounds so much cuter when you say Katica. And yeah. there are, you know, there are a lot of like um, small children yes. who are called Katarin and Catherine uh -huh. and they have this nickname Katica. And it's really cute when they're children but it gets a bit less cute with age. <laughs> but it kind of makes sense, I mean it's lady, you know, like lady but then a lady's yeah. name. Because, <laughs> because you will never understand why the Malay calls it Kumbang Kura Kura. Which means Kumbang is beetle. Okay. Kura kura is tortoise. Actually, the, like if you look at it from above, yeah. it has a similar sort of arrangement of body parts. <laughs> that, that could work for anything. But I mean, I can yeah. see, I can see its similarities. Yeah. But it's just like, how did they come up with this word? Is it it must really... have taken a long time. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay. Last but not least, we have earthworm. Well, in Hungarian, it's basically just mirror translated. Ferdi gilista. Ferdi gilista. Gilista. Yeah. But you can say, like, you know, you can say only gilista or girnyo, which is mm. also an insult. <laughs> You use it on someone with not very attractive physical features. Oh no! <laughs> it's very bad, but it's still better than swearing. <laughs> but gilitsa is worm. That's a gilitsa. Gilista. Gilista. Is it yeah. worm? Like... Sort of. We use it for this type of worm, ah, like this, this wiggly, wiggly one. one. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So we're similar. So in Malay, we say chaching tana. Chaching is worm, chaching. All, all this really like kind of thing. Chaching. Yeah, chaching. Um, tana means land or soil, okay, so yeah. ground. So Makes chaching sense. tana. So let us know what you call these insects, worms, and arachnids in your languages. And in the end, the Vulcan tomatoes became very popular because people from all over the world subscribed to their videos. And they liked every video too. And you know what else? They shared all their happy and lovely thoughts in the comments. And they clicked on the bell so they wouldn't miss a thing and get notified every time a new video was released. So in the end, the Forking Tomatoes lived happily ever after. The end. <laughs>